Guys, balik lagi ya di Far Cry 6 Kita akan lanjutkan perjalanan dari Dani Rojas So, misi sekarang yang akan kita lakukan adalah misi dari Clara guys Kalau kalian ingat di awal-awal, bukan awal, tapi pertengahan tuh gue sempat ditelepon sama dia Dia suruh gue ke Esperanza karena katanya Anton Castillo itu akan memberikan pidato di hari perayaan uh, pengangkatannya dia lah ya Sebagai presiden So, gue sini untuk cari jalan menuju ke dalam hotel dan bunuh si Anton Castillo Tapi gue rasa gak akan semudah itu guys ya nggak uh, mungkin kita bisa langsung bunuh dia So sekarang gue akan langsung ke lokasi kuasnya uh, Gue udah dekat ya di sini Esperanza Maaf Akhirnya kita tiba di Esperanza setelah selama ini kita cuma bisa melihat towernya si uh, Castillo dari jauh Nah dia Eh gue udah pernah kesini kayaknya Ini kan ya guys This yeah. is the place. Got sin? Heard you got a spot on the night shift Apa itu password? Roll number 23 If you have a chance to cut the head of the tyrant Tyrant You fucking take it Kalau kesempatan Kalau lu punya kesempatan ya Untuk ngebunuhin si tyrant Ambil kesempatan itu Jangan sisiakan Kata Juan Cortez Dengan aturan-aturannya dia So di mana kita Ketemu sama Clara Nearer truth, eh? Oke. Okay. Like sini ada item. Kayaknya di atas ya. Oh, itu. Impact close. Oke. Okay. Mereka lagi diskusi. We place explosives here, here, and here. Speed starts, charges detonate, we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole. Which means? Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in. With Danny right in the middle. And then what? Danny kills El Presidente. It's beautiful. Hey, Danny. Hi. Danny! Look at that sexy Supremo! You want me to kill Anton Castillo? Today. Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraiso, live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you're good with this. Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed a president before. <laughs> It's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla meth! Christ, I need a shower. You <laughs> need this. Apa itu? Bom. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend. I call you. <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Who knows? Viva Libertad. Oke, okay, jadi berdasarkan apa yang diomongin sama Juan Cortez, dia minta kita untuk uh, pasang peledak gitu guys ya, mengelilingi hotel. Dengan begitu pada saat kita ledakin, katanya si bala bantuannya si. Ya jadi uh, dengan kita mem, apa ya kayak meledakan ledakan gitu ya di sekitar hotel uh, pasukannya si Castillo tuh nggak bisa keluar dari hotel dan mereka nggak bisa masuk untuk ngebantuin si Castillo pada saat kita bunuh dia. So ada tiga titik yang harus kita pasang detonate 
Oh, hi. Oh, shoot. Special forces. Yeah. Senjata gue sekarang udah canggih, guys. Sakit nih. Ini kalau gue pakai yang ada peredamnya, kalau perang terbuka gue pakai ini. Sakit banget. Sama gue udah punya sniper yang oke okay harusnya. Ya. Ah ini ya. Too easy. Too easy? Terlalu mudah? Satu. Oke. Okay. Sebentar, kita nggak bisa lewat jalur gerilya. Ini jalur ke lewat nih, guys. Tapi nggak usah lah ya. Kita terbuka aja. Buenas noches. Artinya apa tuh? Selamat tinggal. Gua ada di sini guys. Sebentar kita habis ini dulu. Enggak kena. What the? F maaf maaf. Some fireworks for our anniversary. Engineer. Jangan. Nih nih, aduh, masa sih? Wah dia naik tank guys, naik tank dia. Lebih akurat ini daripada Daripada ininya gue Sniper Ini makan nih Karena kayaknya gue harus ganti Pesoka hmm, Soalnya udah berantakan ya Gara-gara sniper nih Bisa ada satu Oh itu dia Bukan dia Bisa sniper sembunyi disitu Kita pasang pagar Terbawa balik ambil senjata ya Di sana Oh, find it until it's too late 
Juan, the packages have been dropped off. You sound like a fucking postman. Just say, hey, Juan, I planted the bombs. I sent you a photo of where you can find me. On my way. I'm on the rooftops in front of the hotel. If you forget what I'm like, just look for the father figure you always wish you had. I think you mean drunk uncle, Juan. <laughs> hey, I'm six hours sober. Don't jinx it. Oh, lumayan. Udah enam, enam jam dia nggak minum ya, katanya sadar. Gak mabuk gitu. Si Juan tungguin kita katanya di hotel ya. Katanya kalau gue kesulitan cari dia, lihat aja figur bapak gitu yang selalu gue butuhkan untuk gue cari-cari. Ini di mana ya? Di sini. Peti. Oke, okay, kayaknya dibawa sih di bawah tanah. So, kita akan langsung ketemu aja sama si Juan Dia ada di atas Sana Getting close to one. Okay, kita udah dekat dia di bawah sini. Let's go back there. 
Dran sind wir. Kok di minimapnya di depan sini merah semua. Bisa kita hancurin nggak? Nggak bisa. Pintunya nggak bisa dihancurin ya? Oh, ini kuncinya guys. Okay, let's go. Oke, oke. Kita ketemu sama Castillo. Nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny. And you? You know who I am. You're here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be. You're not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yaren gets hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You're looking for one Chamaco. You should leave Yara. 
He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. Okay, get out of the way. bucket. Fucking dictators. Levanto y quita. Gracias. Yeah. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. Iya, yeah, dia itu sebenarnya baik guys ya. Kalau kalian lihat di awal dia tuh pengen pergi tinggalin bokapnya, tapi dia ditangkap lagi di perahu ya. Kapal, kapal. Kau kalian ada di bawah sini? Hah? Tumben NPC-nya agak dump di sini. Nih guys, kalau kalian lihat nih. Ini grafik gamenya aneh tuh. Kalau gue gerakin, gede-gede putih ya tuh. Kayaknya ada masalah sama si Edo-nya di bayangan. Konyo, he's beautiful. Don't mind if I do, Castillo. Oh, kita dapat mobilnya. Nice. Bisa gue scan nggak? Nggak bisa. Tapi ini seru kabur dari hotel ini Bye 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 bye, bye, bye. Zig zag zig zag Zig zag Zig zag Oke okay. Tuh 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 Clara I made it out in one piece It was a setup, but I got myself a little present. Castillo's right. Smells like old dictator. We didn't get Castillo, but we did some damage to his regime. Damage? You punched Anton's regime in the balls today. Go buy yourself a cerveza. You earned it. Hey, do you ever hear anything about Castillo being sick? No. Why? Uh, I overheard some guards. Hmm. It's good intel. I'll be in touch. Every step we take gets us closer to a free era. Okay, kita harusnya aman di sini. Ya, barusan si Diego juga bilang ya kalau katanya bokapnya sakit, makanya bokapnya nggak ada di tempat yang tadi. Cuma si kenapa? Si Dan. Shit. Maybe it's the pills. No, it can't be. Juan? Who is this? It's Danny, Juan. Danny! Danny! Do you need something? You called me! Not possible in my current state. But I'm glad you reached out. Meet me on Libertad Island immediately. Yeah? Why? Juan! <sighs> Shit. Okay, kita disuruh ketemu sama Juan ya di Pulau Libertad. Ya, yeah, tadi gua mau ngomong kalau... Um, siapa namanya? Si Dani tuh entah kenapa merahasiakan gak kasih tahu kalau dia ketemu Diego di dalam sana. Terus uh, Diego kan kasih tahu kalau misalnya bokapnya sakit makanya bokapnya nggak ada di sana. Kemudian si Dani coba-coba nanya ke Clara tapi dia nggak ngaku kalau dia tahu tuh dari Diego. Dia bilang dia dengar para tentara ngomong lah, nguping gitu ya. Terus si Juan ini nggak tahu dia muntah-muntah. <laughs> dia telepon Dani tapi dia bilang dia nggak telepon entah itu kepencet atau gimana. Terus dia suruh kita kesini nih. Ketemu sama dia. Oh, dia di ujung sana guys. Itu si Clara. Sibuk dia. He's on the dogs, yeah. Near his bunker. Got some laggy. Udah mau tamat kita guys. About time. Need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the bibiro. I pick up the profits. What are they drops for? You try these? I took one for research. Now I can't stop. Turn my piss purple. You want one? No. Who's paying us for the bibiro one? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA is in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of that? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc, etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask. And I'll never tell. 
It's a private club. Just you, me, and lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. Just remember, after La Revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. Okay. Sekarang kita disuruh untuk ngantarin Vivero, which is ketiga lokasi ini. Ya. Dan ternyata si Juan itu ngejual Vivero ini ke tadinya dan dipikir yang kisian kesini tuh si Mike ya. Uh, Kalau gua nggak salah. Tapi ternyata dia ngejualnya ke si AA. Si IA. Dan Clara nggak tahu sama sekali. Kayaknya. Mereka butuh duit guys, buat perang mungkin ya. Uh, sebentar, kayaknya kejauhan deh. Yap, nggak mungkin gua naik perahu sampai sana. So, gua bisa kesini gak? Kebetulan di sini ada pesawat. Jadi kita akan ambil helikopter dari situ ya, biar dekat. Mungkin gua akan cut biar cepat ya. Oke okay, guys, kita udah mendekati ini ya. Titik pertama tempat gua harus ngantarin Vivero di sini. Aman gak ya? Kayaknya aman gak ada prajuritnya Castillo? Bagus lah Sebentar kita parkir Di sini? One down Ya, di sini ada peti nanti gue balik lagi. So sekarang kita ke yang kedua. First package dropped off. Oke, okay, good. Hey, did I tell you about the time I broke the deal for Gorbachev? Let me guess. You made the deal, took a cut for yourself, and lost it in a dumb bet you can't even remember. I mean, yes. I think this means we are family now. Oke okay guys, gue sekarang udah ada di titik tempat mengantar kedua ya. Jadi tadi gue teleport ke sini dulu, habis itu gue ambil pesawat di sini, terus gue terbang sini. Jaraknya lumayan dekat, jadi gue akan pakai pesawat ini lagi ya setelah ngantar yang kedua ini. From guerrilla to fucking courier. <laughs> Dari guerrilla ya. Gerilya yang lain jadi tetap kurir sekarang. <laughs> si Dani. Itu tukang ngantar barang. <laughs> Alright, the last one. Right there. Oke, ini yang terakhir, guys. Di Mercusuar. Oke. Uh, udah kapal. Sini. Ini yang terakhir ya. Cutscene. Bienvenido. What the frick? The enemy has just as much right to destroy you. As you do to destroy them. Kita ya musuh itu juga punya hak yang sama ya untuk ngebas milu sama seperti lo pengen bunuh mereka. Jadi impas. Holy shit! I for Clara. selling my bibiro to the Yankees. You're a dead man. When the guerrillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. 13. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. 
I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the guerrillas came. Every day I'm in charge. Crime by crime, piece by piece, he paid to the guerrillas. But we would still talk every single night until they took his tongue for his last to Yara. Benar, dia cabut giginya. Stop! Stop! Stop this! Jesus. Who is this Guria to you? I think we should skip a few steps, Raoul. Oh, jeez. No. No, 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 no. Viva libertad. Diego! The attack! The Hotel Paraiso. Danny was there. You? You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. We will give them a chance. For re oh, jeez. Of course. Gue suka banget sama Castillo. Ngeselin. Dia jahat. Sadis lah pokoknya. Iya, 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 iya. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 gue harus kemana? Gue harus kemana? Jangan break, jangan break. Lari, 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 lari. Keren sih <laughs> dia, dia baik sama anaknya Tentu saja kita akan kasih dia kesempatan kedua Tapi di belakangnya dia ngelempar granat Anjir <laughs> Sumpah gue suka banget sama Castillo Tapi dia jah <laughs> Dia tuh dingin gitu Juan, we're burned. Castillo was waiting. He and his fucking head out to try to kill me. Glad you made it. I, uh, I have to ask. Did you talk, Danny? Not a fucking word. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. The kid, Diego. He saved my life. What? Shot Danton's head out dead. Old dog? Binga. This is good. This is very good. We are playing 4D chess in space now, Danny. Fuck your 4D chess, Juan. I just got my molars ripped out. Same thing happened to me back in the Congo. Except I did it to myself. Just chew in the front like a rabbit. And Juan, let's leave Clara out of it. We got burned. That's all she needs to know. Clara's got enough to fucking deal with, let alone you almost getting torn to pieces. Gracias. Eh ini si bapak kenapa dia? Mabuk apa gimana? 
Oke, okay. kok bisa jalan sendiri? Kan udah nggak ada orang. So, hmm, Clara aja kita ketemuan ya, dan dia bilang katanya kita jangan cerita. Maksudnya pertemuan gue sama dia uh, tentang Castillo tadi dia bilang, tapi kita jangan sampai kasih tahu si Juan. Juan nggak boleh terlibat gitu. Kemudian si Juan telepon gue dan bilang kalau uh, si Dani cerita ya kalau si Castillo ternyata udah nungguin kita dan uh, Diego tuh bunuhin itu. Si tukang siksanya si Castillo Dan si Juan ternyata senang guys Karena Diego tuh bantuin kita di sisi kita ya Dia bilang kita nggak boleh cerita apa yang sudah terjadi sama si Clara Yang jelas Clara tahu kalau kita terbakar aja Tapi kenapa sampai kita terbakar mungkin Danny bakal cari alasan Perang atau apapun itu So guys sebelum gue ketemu sama Clara lagi Gue akan boss dulu sini Kita ketemu di part berikutnya Thanks guys for watching And goodbye